So I'm recognizing that the reason why I may have been shouting in my last videos is because I did not have this really expensive microphone. I've never met my voice at this decibel. Hello again, my name is Miss Lindsay. I'm a piano with Johnny student and also a private piano teacher for those who don't know any better. Now here's to another day in the life of me documenting one of my horribly run piano lessons. As you may know, I've been on a little bit of a hiatus from my official Piano with Johnny lessons, and that's just because I don't got rhythm. As it turns out, you can't do anything unless you can stay on a metronome, which I wasn't taught by my mediocre piano teachers, and thus I turned out as a mediocre piano player. I've been using all of my exciting rhythm hacks in order to build this set list rapidly. The only problem with having terrible rhythm and rapidly building a 40 million song set list is that all your songs start to sound the same. They sound a little quarterly, if you will. You like that? Is that a pun? Did that work? I'm not a punny person. I don't like using puns. Unfortunately though, almost all of my songs are a 4-4 four, four time signature with a basic quarterly rhythm like this. And I said, hi yeah, yeah. What's going on? Don't mind the dirty gain situation on our production setup. I'm not very good at producing yet. As a little review for some of you who may not actually know what a time signature is, time signature is not your tempo, fast versus slow, but your time signature really indicates your feel of the dance that it was meant to accompany. The formal written identification of a time signature indicates that the top number is how many beats exist in one measure, and the bottom number indicates what note gets one beat. Other time signatures to be aware of would be cut time, or what we would call a march. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. The next most common time signature would be the whimsical waltz of the 3 4. I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. Although Adam Lambert did say intelligently 6 8 does not turn a profit, it is one of my favorites. Here's that example. I put a spell. Stop those things you do. I tell you, I ain't lying. No, I ain't lying. Yeah. Now, I've seen some weird time signatures like 7 8 or 9 8, some interesting plays on the conductor 3 4 and 4 4 in a triplet format. However, the one that still gets me is the bloody 5 4. Personally, I don't think that 5-4 is actually a legitimate time signature. I think it's more of a delusional state of mind that jazz musicians decided to make up and is about as good of a decision as it is to use drugs the same night as your event gig. Unless this time signature has been organized and prescribed by a doctor, it should not be used. But I digress. Let's talk about the problem we came to discuss. Recently, I just got a new adult student who picked out a very beautiful song to do for our fall recital. The song is I Am the Antichrist to You by Kishibashi, and it is a gorgeous orchestral arrangement. For the purpose of this dissection, I'm gonna need you to take a look at a little one minute cut. When I first got this song, I registered that the time signature was a bit strange. I registered some five counts, some three counts, some two counts, some four counts. There's a lot of different variable uh, changes. And so I tried to get my hands on the music to see if someone had already done this work for me. Now it looks like someone did do the work 
they put it on a free music site, and all it was was transcription lies because they changed it to a 4-4. Part of me commends them for taking shortcuts. You know me, I love to take the easy way out. However, in this situation, one of the most influential things about it is that it's a crazy 5-4 uh, nut job recycle your time signature type deal. So I tried to learn it, and this is a little clip of that. Now before I move forward with advice and instructions on what to do when you feel like you're drowning, I'd like to bring out one of my learning models, the self-esteem model. Self-esteem is required to complete and learn anything new. The reality is, if you feel like crap and defeated and disappointed in yourself, you're not going to be able to build very good effort, determination, momentum, and stamina in completing and learning a new craft like a 5-4 time signature, no matter how useless it is. The self-esteem model is a scale that builds your skill set, beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert, and pins it against how you feel, which is leisure, confident, trying, or overwhelmed. The reality is, is that a 5-4 time signature is too difficult for my student who started three weeks ago. Not to mention the fact that this is a rotating time signature, meaning it does not stay in 5-4. So that my student can learn this song and feel like he is motivated and can accomplish something that is his goal, I asked him if he minded us changing it to a 4-4 and he didn't really know the difference, which was exciting because that means yes. Wait, that means yes we can do it, no, he doesn't mind. Yes. So in celebration of the fact that I really don't like 5-4 time signatures and have little to no interest in diving 101 man hours into this rotating 5-4-3-4-2-4 hot mess, we're going to turn it to a 4-4 and play it like this at the recital. Hopefully you don't feel too disappointed in the fact that I didn't conquer the 5-4 time signature and dominate it in every area that it is presented. However, it's not that applicable towards my current learning goals. Now I'm not leaving 5-4 in the dust. What I will do is I will look up popular 5-4 songs that are very easy and simple and I will start my 5-4 journey slowly but surely adding it to my basic fundamental practice of scales and exercises and hopefully one day I won't be so adverse to that wretched time signature. <laughs> Now that the rhythm challenge is officially done, dead, and done, you can get ready for those Piano with Johnny lessons, kids. They're back on. <laughs> 